I'm Tech Steve, and if you went out and bought a 2019 Samsung 4K television and you're having a problem with the gaming mode, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to properly set it up for 4K 60 frames per second. So if you bought a TV set, this will work on any kind of gaming system or streaming device. So sit back and relax, and let's get into it. Today I'm going to show you the PlayStation Pro, but there's other devices that supports 4K 60 frames per second. For example, you have this Roku Premium and you have the Amazon Q that a lot of people don't like. Sometimes when you buy a product, some manufacturers do not give you the correct cable. They just simply give you something to connect it. In my opinion, I would go out and buy a new cable if you don't know because some of these cables are not labeled properly to make sure you get the best performance out of your gaming system or any of your media boxes. Taking a look at this diagram, you need to have an HDR 2.1 cable to get the most dynamic range. So when you go look for one, make sure you get a 2.1 or higher. Let's walk you through the steps and how to get the PlayStation and HDR. Now this will work for Xboxes and other type of devices as well. I plug the PlayStation 4 Pro into the input three. Let me show you how Arc works. If you press the power, it'll turn the TV on and choose the input automatically. That's pretty cool, right? What's even cooler on this particular TV set, it actually programmed the remote control to control the PlayStation about anything else. It was fully automatic. So here's a problem a lot of people are having. When they have the PlayStation hooked up to one of the Samsung TV sets, it doesn't detect the HDR. Let's go into settings and take a look. From the settings menu, go down to sound and screen. Then press video output settings. As you can see, HDR is set up for automatic. And when you click on adjust HDR, you get something like this. The TV doesn't support HDR, but we know it does. You can fix this very easy. Press the settings at the bottom of the remote control. Go down to general, then go over to external device manager. Now here you have game mode. If you click on it, you can set it for automatic, but sometimes that's not checked. But the main way to do it is just turn it on. Then go to input signal plus and choose which input you have your HDMI plugged into. And then press close. Now back at the PlayStation, you can press adjust HDR. And as you can see, now you have options. Go ahead and press next. Now move the arrow from left to right until you can barely see the logo. That looks good right there. Let's go ahead and press next. And we made it darker so I can just barely see it right there. Press next. Now the camera's not picking it up, but I can see it. And then press done. I put the brightness back to the normal level. That's how you set up the HDR right there. At this point, you have everything you need to get your 4K 60 frames per second working on your gaming systems. But if you have questions, go ahead and leave one in the comments below and I'll get to you as fast as I can. But otherwise, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, why don't you go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified for my next video. In the meantime, thanks a lot for watching. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.